iOS 11 has arrived in its beta form and one area that's undergone a huge overhaul is the control center. So here's 10 tips, tricks, features and bugs you need to know about Apple's latest software update. The control center is accessed in exactly the same way as it was before by swiping up from the bottom of the screen. And you will now notice that everything is on one page. For example, you don't have to swipe left to get to your music player. And if you add more panels, you'll simply swipe down to see them. We'll look at that in a little more detail later. Another thing you might notice is that some of the buttons have quirky little animations when you touch on them, such as orientation lock and the torch. And the next things of use are the slider controls for the display brightness and volume control. You can dig even deeper into these by force touching on them to get a bigger slider for even more accurate control. Or you can do extra things like putting it into night shift mode. Sticking with the theme of force touch, many of the controls do have force touch additional actions, such as the control panel here, which opens up a couple more options. If I go to a music player, it expands that, and you can do that throughout many of the options. So force touch and see what happens. One bug I have noticed though, is that once you do force touch, it then eliminates the actual tap option. So the calculator, which should go to the calculator, now doesn't do anything, but I can force touch on it to get the copied last result. Same goes for the camera. When it comes to control center customization, this is where things get really interesting. These top set of controls here are fixed, but these four buttons here can be removed, added to, or reordered. In order to do any of this, go to settings, and then scroll down to control center, and now here you will have the four buttons that are added by default, flashlight, timer, calculator, and camera, but then you can add all of these as well. So if we add one, for example, the alarm, then go back to our control center, you can see the new button is added right here. If you want to reorder any of these buttons, go back to the control center settings, then tap on the three lines at the right. You can drag it up. So we're going to drag the alarm to the top of the list. And then when I go back to my control center, as you can see, the alarm is now the first button. And I'm sure that it will be quite obvious now that if you go to the settings and then tap on the minus button and tap remove, that removes the button again from the control center. If you add every single control to your control center, this is what it looks like. And as I said before, you can simply scroll down the screen to choose what options you want to use at any given point. Perhaps the most interesting control center for me at this early stage of iOS 11 is a new screen recording feature. So if I tap this button here, that will start recording my screen. You can see a recording bar at the top here telling me how long it's been recording for. And I can scroll about and do actions, play games. It will record the screen. When I finished with my action, go back to the control center, press on the stop button. A notification will appear at the top here. And if I tap on that notification, it will take me to the photos where this new recording resides. That will start recording my screen. You can see a recording at the top here. And one more thing to add about this screen recorder. If you force touch in it, you can choose whether to record the microphone or not whether you want to hear your own voice and the game sounds if you're playing a game, for example. As I said, it is still a little buggy. For example, if I try and remove too many buttons at once, the screen will kind of freeze where I can't press on the remove button anymore. And once that happens, you just have to back out of the screen. As you can see here now, I can't make any more changes. So back out into settings, go to control center once again, and I can carry on removing the buttons. So there is still work to be done on the control center, but that is quite a radical overhaul. But of course, on the flip side, if you remove all your control center buttons, this is what you're left with. So there you have the new iOS control center. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, if you're still stuck on iOS 10, well, fear not, I have you covered to that with the ultimate guide of 175 tips. Check that out if you have time. Otherwise, do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more content just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.